We've got a toasty day out and a hot summer crowded day here at Hollywood Studios. Welcome back to your Daily Dose, everybody. We're here at Hollywood Studios for pretty much one reason. There's a new bar. An Indiana Jones theme bar has opened in what used to be a closed location and used to be a store inside Hollywood Studios is now a transformed bar for promotion, for both promotional purposes for the new Indiana Jones movie. We're obviously here with Casey. Hello. And uh, we're gonna have a fun night. I'm excited. We might. It's, oh, I was just gonna say it's Friday night. It's basically happy hour now, so let's go get some drinks. Pretty much. I think we're gonna try all of the drinks. We're gonna hop around here. We're just kind of having a day of go with the flow. Welcome back. To it. Let's have some fun. Let's go. The Den of Destiny awaits. That's what it's called. I think there's oh, three new drinks. I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, it's called The Den of Destiny, but the new cool. movie's called Dial of Destiny. Okay. See what we're doing here? We're going to the den, and then we're probably going to find the Dial of Destiny because it's our destiny Whoa. to be here today. When does the movie come out? Um, good question. Let's find out. The movie comes out June 30th, so just around the corner. Just around the I wonder if there's going to be a sneak peek. Do you think there's going to be a sneak peek in One Man's Dream? There could be. Maybe. Oh, Who it's Prince, it? of, Prince of Ian. Oh Whoa! Look at this. Where? We've captured Prince Naveen. Hello. Walking Hello, around to you. Hello. Are you having a swinging good time today? We are. Yeah. Excited because we see you. Well, of course. Well, it's... <laughs> good to see you. I'm an asshole, my friend. See you later. That was really cool. <laughs> that was cool. Good timing. That's the second time we've captured that. It wasn't just Naveen, but Tiana wasn't over there this time. Where is Princess Tiana? I, he's probably going to get ready for date night, huh? Probably. As we did. What are you wearing, Casey? Um, these shorts are from high school. <laughs> just found them in my closet. Um, and this is from Abercrombie. Cool. Um, we got to backtrack, though, because they actually show you what's in one man's dream up here. Where? It is not Indiana Jones. They always show you right here, but we can confirm it's still a Little Mermaid. Do you think it would be Indiana Jones? But I guess they want to keep pushing Little Mermaid, which is just doing okay at the box office. We saw it. It I was loved good. It. I really loved it. I laughed. I cried. I had a good time. <laughs> she did. <laughs> she did. It's a good movie. It's, I think it's one of their best live actions. It was just good, especially when they got out of the water. I like that. It was fun. She's got the voice of an angel. She does. Without a doubt, I can definitely tell it's summer. It is definitely crowded here today. It's a Friday to kind of be expected, but yeah, you can feel it. You can feel the heat. Hey guys. Thanks guys. Where are you? I lost Casey, guys. Oh, I'm on, I'm on the street. Just, just go on the street. It was funny, because I ran into someone. They're like, hey guys, or hey Kyle, where's Casey? I'm like, I don't know, I'm trying to find her. I just, I felt like a little kid. I was like, where, where is he? So this shop, guys, has been closed since 2020. And fun fact, this is actually a crazy fun fact. The last time I set foot into this shop was when I worked at Disney World in 2020. When I uh, left the company it was the last time I was, I was in this shop right over here, but it's, it's now open. Which is great. I wonder if this is going to be like a new seasonal thing every time. Would it be kind of cool, but I don't know. It would be kind of costly because they're going to have to change it every time, you know? I don't think so. I feel like they're utilizing this because it is right next to Indiana Jones, the attraction. And it used to be an Indiana Jones shop. Yes. So it's already themed to that. It is a little bit different, so we'll, we'll head on inside and obviously check it out right now. Now, this isn't the only big news here today. Rock and Roller Coaster might be getting rethemed. We'll talk about that in a second. Just to the right of 50s is going to be the Den of Destiny, which is open now until August 15th. I think they have three different beverages in here. They're all brand new. And like I said, we're we're here to try it and, and check it out. I wish they had food. But um I I'm hungry. <laughs> they don't. Hey, we'll get food though. You wanna get food? Yes, please. I'm always hungry. Here it is. Look at those banners, look at that sign. The Den of Destiny. 
There's rare act antiques inside. Should we go? Yeah. That's obviously the Wow. Here we go. Welcome to the new shop, or sorry, the new bar. This was the old shop. So it's similar actually to One Man's Dream because we've got Indiana Jones costume here for the Dial of Destiny. I keep wanting to say Den of Destiny now because that's what this is called, but here's one of Harrison Ford's outfits that he wears, and I believe he's like 80 years old now. So we've actually got props from the movie in here. An ancient bronze chest with some concept arts of what I believe is from this new movie. Kind of a, a really fun thing that they're doing here to promote the movie. <gasps> His whip. That there is it is. Cool. Indiana Jones whip by Ben Wilkinson. And we also have his obviously famous hat. It's like Jack Sparrow's hat. That's how famous it is. Yeah, you just go stand there. This is actually a photo op right here. That's obviously the Dial of Destiny, so this is probably what they're gonna be uh, trying to get. Look at that. Doesn't move, it really is just a... Do you think they use this in the movie? Prop. I would say no. It's cool, look how detailed it is. Here we have Helena Shaw's costume. I think this is a, a new character. I wonder if this movie's gonna be good or bad too. And uh, some playing cards. Looks like she was going for a straight. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Reading these drinks, and if we're getting all three, we, we're gonna definitely need some food. Otherwise, I'm gonna be a little woo. <laughs> well, we don't have to finish them. We can just try them, you know? Yeah. What's crazy is the last time I've seen this area was when it was actually filled with tons of clothes, because this used to be like a storage area for Mickey's uh, Hollywood, Hollywood and Vine, and uh, Five and Dime. So this is where I would come in and get tons of clothes for whoever was buying it. So now here's the makeshift bar. This obviously used to be where you would check out whatever you guys were buying in here. And um, yeah. So they are pre-mixed drinks because they don't have like an actual bar here. So. I'm actually really sad. They used to have a picture up by the stairs of Sean Connery who plays uh, Indiana Jones' dad in the movie. And I actually remember he passed away actually the day I was working in here. That's why I never forget it, because I remember there is a, an image up there. They, they took it down, unfortunately. It's kind of like one man's dream here at Hollywood Studios, because it's just a place to come and see some different props from the movie and just honestly get some AC as well. <laughs> Word has gotten out fast, too. There's a lot of people here. Oh, what's actually kind of cool is that they actually show the merch that you can go on over and buy inside Keystone Clothers. There's actually a lot of collectibles for Indiana Jones, and they're pretty, pretty pricey as well. It was pretty busy outside in the shaded area where they actually have some tables. So we decided to come on a lovely recycling bin right by Indiana Jones to try it. You ready? I'm ready. Ooh, this is good. This is margarita, right? Yeah. Definitely. This is a chugger. Wow. That is a really easy downgoing margarita. Oh, wow. It has a little bit of a spice to it. Is this one made with mezcal? Blanco tequila, passion fruit, um, green tea, cucumber, and lime juice, and agave nectar. It's it's a really good drink, actually. I can taste a lot of the cucumber. I would say if you don't like cucumber, don't get this one. And now we've got the weathered fedora. I haven't tried it yet. It's bourbon, and you guys know I don't like bourbon, so we'll we'll see what's in here. They actually I think topped this one off like with uh, like something on top. I don't know what it was. Some like Cinna salt. It was a uh, cinnamon and nutmeg. Okay. Not that bad though. <laughs> not that bad that though. That face told me otherwise. No, it, it's not like, I mean, you can't chug bourbon, but. I'll give it a shot. It's actually got good flavor to it. And I'm, I'm genuinely surprised. Usually I just dislike bourbon. It's not bad. Nah. Maybe I'm becoming to be a bourbon drinker now. 
It's not bad. <laughs> the cinnamon does help a little bit. Not a drink to get if you don't like bourbon. Like myself, I would never order this. I would, I would never just want to drink this. The problem with bourbon drinkers in a park is, like this has got to last a while, you know? I feel like bourbon's like a sipping drink. Yeah. And a little I watered down after a while. They, they have a really cool ice cube in here, in here too. Surprisingly, yeah. it's actually a big ball ice cube that is usually served in bourbon, mm -hmm. which is strange for a Disney park, you know? It's not bad. I am genuinely surprised. Like, I don't hate that, but I'd have to sip it probably for an hour. Real quick pause because now that we have that um, bar open, they moved Chippendale right on under here. So this is where the new Chippendale meet and greet is. They're no longer in the corner. They're over here. So our last but not least is not an alcohol beverage. They only have two of them. This is the La Antique Green Atlantique. Tea. Oh, Antique. Antilique? At no, Atlantique. Atlantique. Green tea. Blood orange, lemon juice, and agave nectar. This is probably a chugger. And pomegranate green tea. Did you say that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you did. <laughs> All right, you take a sip, then I'll take a sip. That's refreshing. It is. It's a little sweet, but this, mm. this and the margarita are pretty good, I must say. It reminds me of a refresher at Starbucks. Mm -hmm. This is good. This is good. This is good. I like that. You know what? I just took another sip of this, and this actually reminds me of a drink from Universal's Halloween Horror Nights. I'm telling you, try it again. I'm not gonna know. Tastes like the one that comes in the school. It's a nice, it's a nice margarita. I actually really like this drink. That one's good. I think they're good options. They are. The bourbon one's a little bit weird, but it kind of makes sense because Indiana Jones and I don't know. I feel like Indiana Indy is a bourbon drinker. Even just the color of the drink matches so perfectly with Indiana Jones. Yeah, yeah. that was good. I think it was well themed. I hope that stays a little bit longer than August 15th. We'll see if it turns into anything else. It's a good use of Pretty space. Cool. That's finally back, but yeah, new bar, new bar, go check it out. Oh. On a side note here, it looks like it's going to rain. But then again, it always looks like it's going to rain this time of year. By the way, that bar opens, oh my gosh, it's so dark. It opens from uh, 10 a.m. till 8. So keep that in mind if you wanna go try it. Whoa, I came in here to see the Indiana Jones merch, but is this new Loki merch? I mean, season two, I think comes out in, October. Okay, okay. I don't think I've seen this line. Master of Mischief search $39.99. This is cute. It's a crop top, $39.99. Glorious purpose. Casey still has not seen this show. We started watching it. I think we got a couple episodes in and then I think I was done at that point, but I do want to continue watching it. She has no idea that this is like one of the best Disney Plus TV shows. $34.99. Uh, I don't know what this is, but there you go. Got a nice little hat, $29.99. $36.99 shorts. You were made to be ruled. In the end, you will always kneel. We love Loki. $59.99 sweatshirts. Trust his rage. But the real reason why we're here is because of the main Indiana Jones merchandise, which is now moved over here. Because the movie's probably coming out soon, and that's why they're they're highlighting. See the crystal skull; it's two hundred and fifty dollars. It's crazy. One of the least bought. I think it's gonna rain here shortly, but we're gonna head down Sunset because Rock and Roller Coaster. I haven't even told you guys it's reopened, but it's reopened right now. Wait, it reopened? Yeah, it reopened. Wow. It didn't really open with anything different. It was just like a solid refurb for mechanical things. But a very interesting story on how Rock and Roller Coaster may possibly be themed to the Muppets. The Muppets. Very weird, listen to this. Okay, so listen to this everybody. The creator of the Muppets of Mayhem, first of all, I have no idea what that is. And I think most of you guys know, I'm not the biggest fan of the Muppets, but the creator of that Disney Plus series actually pitched to Disney to change Rock and Roller Coaster to the Electric Mayhem Roller Coaster. I personally, you know, wouldn't have liked to see that, 
Just because, you know, having two Muppets thing totally separated here at Hollywood Studios wouldn't have really made any sense. And I don't know, are you a Muppets fan? You, no? I'm not. I, no. Not really? I would, I feel like that should be part of what I like, but no, I never really got into the Muppets. Um, I'd be sad to see this go. It's just nostalgic. I would too, but I did read a comment somewhere, I don't remember where I saw it. If anything, if we changed it, Powerline would be amazing from a Goofy movie. That would be really cool as we're rocking and rolling into a, a concert, to a Powerline concert. But I don't think they're going to change this anytime soon. We'll see, but... That idea, I could get behind. I could too. I'd <laughs> love to see that. I know we've said Black Panther before in the past. I mean, I love Black Panther, but I'd rather have... Powerline. Powerline. Are you kidding me? That's Casey's cool. the one that put me onto that. And you've never actually watched the, uh, the other one. You... Tonight. Tonight. Yeah, uh-huh. Tonight. Uh-huh. With that... We've got to get something to eat, and Casey's actually never had the sweet cream cheese pretzel here in uh, front of Rock and Roller Coaster. It's the only place. No, you can I get actually it. want the cheddar jalapeno one. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna get the sweet cream. We'll get them. We'll get one of each. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Might as well. Okay. Might as well. Can I have one of each of those We're going to my secret spot where nobody ever is. If you guys want a peaceful spot, head in this corner. Right in this corner. It's peaceful. There's no Beauty and the Beast anymore, so there's no stroller parking. Plenty of space here. Do we know which is which? I'm gonna take a guess that this is the jalapeno one because it does have a little bit of green right, you know, right there. The last time I had this was on my VIP tour last year. Well, guess what? Yeah. I've never had this before. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. I've got the, which one? The sweet cream. cream. And you have the jalapeno. This is the cheddar jalapeno one. Here we go. Mm. Amazing. This beats a standard Mickey pretzel. Mine's a little no doughy. Hate. No hate to the Mickey pretzel. Mine's a little doughy, kind of reminds me of Auntie Annie's or Auntie Ann, Anne's, Anne's, you know what I'm talking about, that's at every airport. And mall, and yeah. <laughs> mm. <It's> so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is not spicy at all, by the way. Tradesies. Mm. Yeah, I like this one better. I like mine better. <laughs> This one's better in my opinion. That one tastes more like a cinnamon one. Like from Auntie Anne's. It's so good. Mm. Is this gonna be your dinner or are we gonna get something else? <laughs> <laughs> this is merely an appetizer. So the verdict is, you like it? Yeah, it's good. It's good, now let's go find dinner. Wanna go to Springs? Oh, should we go to Springs now? Get some food there? and hopefully um, get some shoes. So let's head over there before it rains and I think I know where we're gonna go. We've never been there together. Let's go. Is it a surprise? Yeah. Oh, I do a lot I of surprises for Casey, all the time. He's so good to me. I love surprises. Before we go to Disney Springs, we cut in the store to get some AC and we came across the new Tommy Hilfiger collection. Check out this beautiful shirt. Beautiful. I think it's $89. Oh, yeah. It's cheaper than my Shore shirts. It's definitely really long, but that is awesome. Got this sweatshirt here. This is probably like 100 right? This stuff is like... 188 Sheesh. These are nice. These are nice. I kind of want it. Please don't be expensive. Of course it's going. 149 Wow. They have another section over here, too, with this cool jacket. These different patches all over. What's the price, Casey? Yikes. This is $449. Yes, you heard me right. $449 for this jacket. That's a, that's a night at a Disney resort. This shirt is $99, $100. Wow. Must be the patches. $200 for this button up. You can also get these pants, which is $179. And then this cool shirt, it's a relatively inexpensive price of $79.99. It's actually got, it's the Disney, uh, it's the 100 Years of Wonder collection with that. 
cool. You can get this for the whole family because they have the dress over here too. <laughs> this is a, a lovely two hundred and thirty dollars. All right, comment down below if you guys be buying anything from this collection. These are the new ears, and they feel like they're real leather. I would hope that they're real leather though, because they are $70. Now we can go to Disney Springs. Let's go. Hello. Hi. So like an 8 o'clock performance time right behind me. Heck yeah, thank you. I do want to go to Cirque. We actually thought we were going to go to Cirque tonight. I think we're going to save it for another date night or something like that. I think so, but we did get a flyer. So cute. I would love to see the show again. You know, I've seen Cirque. I was actually at the first show, but they have new scenes, which is why I really want to go. I don't think we can film in there, um, but Casey and I have been wanting to go see Cirque, but we're here. Oh my gosh, it's so crowded. Oh, there's a concert going on. It's also Friday night during summer. <laughs> The summer house is coming along. Still no sidings up. Some progress though. Sunglass Hut at Disney Springs is still closed. It's got a coming soon sign. This is different. Got an H2O glow after hours little section. Looks like, like kids. Never seen that. If you're wondering out, <laughs> I don't think any of you guys are. It's just, it's raining. It's got a nice little mist going on here. But look, there's a new photo op. It's a promo for the next like Pixar movie. I think it's oh, Elements. Yeah, you see yeah. it? Yep. Ooh. See it. It's like an awkward rain right now. Not enough to like use our umbrella, but it's kind of annoying. Yeah, it feels good though. Elements, August, June 16th. Oh, wow. I have heard that it's gotten good at reviews, so we'll see, right? Yeah, work it, girl. Look at all those elements. Casey's the fifth element, everybody. Have you ever seen that movie, Fifth Element? Nope. It's a good one with Bruce Willis. I have not seen it. It's really good. Well, maybe I have, I don't know. I don't remember. We're gonna head on over here to see if they have my on clouds and then we're gonna go get some dinner. I feel like every time we come to Springs, it's like, do they have my on clouds? No. Do they have my on clouds? No. Hopefully, they have it today. You might just have to order them online and just- I know. Just, you know, call it a day on that one. We're gonna eat that chicken guy, okay, Casey? Is that cool? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Surprise, there's like no line here. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go okay. here first before we go to first. the. We yeah. Can, let's go. First. Really? Yeah, there's not, no line. I'm not super hungry right now. It's gonna be a difference of three minutes. Those three minutes are important. <laughs> Do you think they're gonna have them? No other 11 I do not. If they don't, I did find another pair I think I'm gonna try. Also down below, if you guys want a discount on clouds, there it is. These ones are kind of like an off gray. Do you see the difference? White, gray. I like them both, so if they don't have these, I'm gonna buy these ones. And honestly, I'm gonna buy these ones anyways if they have them. Because I like them, and they're actually less expensive. Speaking of these shoes, Casey has yet to get a pair. And she needs a pair. Today? <laughs> you buy it? Does somebody take that as a nail? I mean, I like them. I do. Oh, we got them? Ten and a half? Can you check this color? That color? I can grab it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. They don't have them. I, every time I come here, they don't have them. They're so popular. So I guess we're going with the off whites if they, if they have them. I don't want to say it. Yeah. I don't want chicken guy. Yeah, you look good with that on. We gotta get you a it's so big. I don't 100 even Thieves hat. 100 thieves yeah, we love 100 Thieves. Look at that, it like matches everything. All right guys, I'm finally pulling the trigger on the ice white. They didn't have the old white, but it's fine. I'll come back and get those when I, when I feel like it, but we finally got one. Yes. If you guys know Casey, every time we come to Springs, we're always at Zara. And um, I think we're not getting Chicken Guy because you want to know why? It's a very long line now. I'm so sorry. So long. But you know what? This actually worked out because I ended up not really wanting Chicken Guy. I just. I think we're going to go like home and make heavy. our own food again. Yeah, maybe but she not in the vlog. I don't have it in me to do a Casey cooking vlog right now. <laughs> well, just stopped at Publix, everybody, to uh, get some few healthy things here. And 
we're gonna call it a night thanks for coming along for a nice little quick trip to hollywood studios and then to disney springs we finally got my shoes finally got them so um hope you guys enjoyed this one i'll see you tomorrow bye bye which is staycation sunday tomorrow